Our programs all have competencies that focus on communication. This is true for the youth or adult sectors. So the question that I have is how are we designing our learning environments in order to facilitate the development of these competencies? Let me tell you a little story. Early in 2018, a colleague and I were working with a group of about 50 teachers and directors. The day took place in the gymnasium of the school. I ate lunch with one of the teachers and she said that she had enjoyed the morning, but it was really noisy. And because of this, she was feeling exhausted only halfway through the day. Now, this teacher had also participated in a day that we had organized at McGill University one month prior with over a hundred participants. And she said, you know, last month with twice as many people, it just wasn't as noisy in the room. But I guess they had designed that room specifically for that to happen. Now, this is true. As you can see in the picture, it's designed like a theater. The tables are all arranged at different levels. And so the conversations that happen at them also happen at different levels in the space. And that way, it doesn't sound as noisy as it does when you're all talking in a gymnasium where the conversations are happening at the same level pretty much right in your ear. So I continue to think about this over lunch, about how we can recreate this idea of spreading conversations around our learning environments, and I was reminded of some classrooms I've seen in Quebec that do just that. In this primary classroom, we have students sitting on milk crates, at desks, and at higher tables, and we can see how the noise levels are distributed in the space because of that. We get the same effect in these adult ed classrooms. By allowing students to stand, sit high, or sit low, we are effectively creating space for them to develop the competencies associated with communication and we are doing so in ways that are less likely to bring on the fatigue that comes from working in an overly noisy space. By having different levels of seating, we can also make sure that all of our learners have equal access to what we are communicating to them. By placing higher seating further away from an interactive whiteboard, we can make it easier for all of our students to see what we are presenting to them. Back to my story. Essentially, as facilitators, we had neglected to think about the effect of the room's physical space on the conversations that we were asking people to have throughout the day. So after the lunch break, I talked about these ideas with our participants before continuing with what we had planned, an afternoon of conversations and working groups. As a result, one group did our job for us and redesigned their space to create their own conversation area in the room. What are your ideas for redesigning learning environments to develop greater communication in the classroom?